Okay, so, for, so far we have a pretty established profile view. We just need to fill up this space. So in here we're just going to create a um, grid of images similar to what you'd see on something like Instagram. Uh, I'm going to add that to our profile view. So again, we could add this as another view. So let's do that. File, new, file. Make it a Swift UI view. And we're going to call this gallery view. So inside our gallery view, we're going to use what's called a geometry reader. A geometry reader is basically a container um, and it works out what it has inside it and then adapts according to the size and the shape, etc. And also the coordinates within that same space. So we're going to create a geometry reader. Now a bit like a list, we can call this geo whatever we like. I call, call I call it Geo just so I know what I'm dealing with. Uh, inside there, we're going to have a scrolling view. So these are great when you don't know the size of the content. You want to allow it to um, expand with the content which is within it. Uh, and then show you indicators. Oops. So I don't want it to show the arrows as it goes up and down. To complete there, just stuffed up a little bit. From there, I'm going to have a horizontal stack. I'm going to add in some spacing. Um, and we can make this dynamic. Uh, so let's start off with two. And then I'm going to insert my images. So I'm basically going to have a row of images. So the image I'm going to use, I haven't dragged in yet, so let's do that. So my image, let's add it to my assets. I'm just going to get a picture of a cat to add to my gallery. So I know that my asset name is cat, so I can insert that now. And then I can apply the properties to that. I'm going to make it resizable again. I'm going to make it scale to fit. And I'm also going to define the size of it by defining the frame. And this is where I'll use my geo. And we'll divide that by the number of columns. And I won't worry about the height now. We'll just keep it a square. Okay, so I need to define this columns because I haven't defined that yet. So let's do that. So within my struct. And create a variable called columns. I set it as a CG float. We're going to have three columns. And we can also make this spacing dynamic as well. So let's make variable spacing. CG float. And we'll make that four. Okay, so I can replace spacing here. And my columns now work as well. Okay, so, so far I should just have the one image of a cat. Take a little bit of time to, to reload, so I will keep going. One, two, three. Okay, currently I haven't called this anywhere, so it's not going to appear in my app. So let's go to my profile view. And then underneath my V stack for all of this, I'm going to put in my gallery view. See if this will update now. Okay, it's not quite where I want it. That's a bit better. So now I currently have those three, but we want to add more to this. So we can copy our H stack. Now we could do this dynamically, but I want you to be able to update your images. Obviously, you don't want to have nine different pictures of a cat, so I'll leave it up to you to. Uh, design that. So currently I've got those nine. If I go to my full profile view, I now have my cats. That's sitting within a scrolling view. So if I did choose to have more, it allowed me to, to keep scrolling. So if I go back to my gallery view, add in an extra, go back to my content view. 
So you can see how now we have a scrolling view, it's a little bit more dynamic. Um, I'll leave it up to you to modify those. You can also play with different shapes of these as well. Uh, but for now we have a nice dynamic uh, image gallery which you can add to your profile view. Again, the benefits of Swift UI is this abstraction. If ever I want to use a gallery, uh, I can just grab this whole view and I can copy and paste it, or I can drag the whole Swift file in and reutilize any of the code which I've created beforehand.